Okay class, tonight we're going to talk about how a bill becomes a law. Now this is an awesome chart I found with all the details included, but you can follow along as I go through the process. So, a bill can become a law in three different ways. It can be originated by a House or Senate member that brings it to either the House or Senate floor. It can be pushed by lobbyists or the average citizen can bring a bill and get approved by a House or Senate member to introduce it. So for this instance, we're going to start the bill in the House. A bill will be introduced to a subcommittee. The subcommittee um, researches the bill, interviews people, and has an in-depth look at it. Once they have something written up, they'll look at the bill and mark it up, make changes. This is an opportunity for earmarks and pork barrel spending to be added. Once the bill is totally marked up and changed to their liking, they vote on the bill. If the committee approves it, it will then be moved to the House floor of all 435 members. Here, the House floor will read the bill, debate it, and add and take away amendments so that everyone's pretty much happy. Once again, this is another opportunity for earmarks and pork barrel spending to be incorporated. Once it's totally amended, the House will vote. Now they need a simple majority of 51% to have it approved. And once it's approved, it will be moved into the Senate. Now in this case, our bill started in the House, but a bill could potentially start in the Senate. And once it passes either the House or the Senate, it has to be approved by the opposing branch. Now before we move on to the Senate, I just want to mark that while a bill is in committee, is being voted on by committee, or is on the House floor at any time and other times as well, a bill can be tabled, which means it's put aside for a later date. But often when a bill is tabled, it is quote unquote dead. So now for the Senate side. Once the House approves the bill, it will be moved into a Senate subcommittee. Senators will look at the bill, mark it up, and once again, there's potential for pork barrel and earmarks. The committee will vote on it, and if it's approved, it will move into the Senate. Now the Senate is much like the House, where they read and debate the bill and add and subtract amendments. However, one major difference is that the Senate can filibuster. Now we talked about filibuster in class, and if you remember, the only way a filibuster can end is if Senate invokes cloture, which can only be approved by a supermajority of 60 votes. Once the bill is to their liking, this whole Senate will vote on it, and they need a supermajority of 51 votes. Once it is voted in, it will be moved into a what they call super committee. Super committee is made up of both House and Senate members. They will take the House bill and the Senate bill and put them together so that both bills become one and are identical. Then it will move down to the president. The president can either approve the bill so that it becomes law or he could veto it. If it's vetoed, Congress can still override the presidential veto with a two-thirds majority, which would be 60 senators, at least 60 senators, and at least 290 House members. If that occurs, the bill will become law.